what's going on guys move 78 here with another american truck sim video and today just wanted to do another quick uh, news update as well as continue with our map rescale discussion uh what we're doing there we're just discussing things that uh, we'd like to see uh improved changed or uh, maybe some new things implemented as ses continues to work on the map rescale and uh one thing i did not mention in last week's uh news story was how SES is implementing a new feature where you can, you know, mess around with the steering wheel a little bit. And uh, there is a little bit more news on that. So I guess that all kind of worked out uh, kind of well, I guess. But uh, what they're doing is they're making it so you can tilt and telescope the steering wheel, which is, I guess, kind of cool. Just a neat little feature, I guess. Uh, some people might find it useful. Some people might think it's kind of a waste. Uh, you know, of course, with stuff like that, mileage definitely varies. But in addition to that, a uh, update they entitled uh, Cab Improvements, you are now also going to be able to change the steering wheel. So it sounds like there's going to be a couple uh, default stock steering wheels that you're going to be able to choose from. Uh, we'll throw up uh, some screenshots uh, from Euro Truck Sim 2 that they shared in that uh, particular blog post. Just uh, take a look at those, but uh, that could be kind of interesting. And uh, one more thing on the topic of steering wheels, they are going to add an experimental console command that allows you to hide the virtual steering wheel. And uh, it sounds like a lot of people have asked for this because it just doesn't have that kind of realistic feel when you have your steering wheel and then you have the in-game virtual steering wheel. Just kind of, it doesn't really give you that kind of realistic feel that you're actually, you know, driving the truck and everything. So I'm really interested in that to see kind of how, if that really, see if that really, you know, adds to kind of the realistic realism factor. And the last little bit of news, they are working on a new feature, uh, the interior camera zoom, to where you can just zoom in on your interior camera to, you know, maybe if you're trying to look at a road sign. Uh, grab a screenshot of a particular landmark. You can just really zoom in on that and uh, do those particular things. Again, I think this is one of those features where mileage is going to vary, but uh, that kind of transitions into the map rescale discussion and uh, kind of continuing with that theme of some features that we'd like to see kind of added. It'd be nice if they could implement some kind of field of view slider to where you could adjust if you want a wide field of view to where it gives you a more realistic look while you're in the cab. That would be kind of nice. Or if you want a narrow field of view to where you can just really focus on just a small portion of uh, your interior view, I guess that would be kind of nice as well. But uh, me personally, I'd like to have just a little bit wider field of view. I know some people go in and edit the SII files to uh, achieve that, but it'd be nice if we had that in game to where we could just easily kind of slide that, uh, you know, like in the, some of the FPS shooters where you can easily just adjust your field of view. It'd be nice if they could implement something like that as well in ATS. And kind of continuing on with the uh, rescale discussion. Uh, one thing that I really hope they can address and fix in the map rescale, it's not related to the map itself, but uh, it seems like the last update or the last couple updates for whatever reason, I don't know if you guys have experienced this or not. Uh, I know I've talked a little bit about it in uh, my Let's Play series and you guys have seen it in the Let's Play series and that's the AI traffic just wreaking havoc. I know some of the stuff uh, is probably coded into the game to where they just do kind of some wonky random stuff, you know, pull out in front of you, things like that. Just to give you that kind of realistic kind of feel because, you know, that stuff happens every day on the highway, whether you're in a car or a truck, whatever. People do dumb stuff on the road, but it just seems like the AI in this game does it just way, way too often. And they just do random, just stupid stuff. Uh, like the other day, um, I think in the last episode of Stories from the Road, I was, you know, there was a car passing me on the left in the left-hand lane, and I was going to jump on the left-hand lane and pass the car in front of me because it was uh, starting to slow down. And then as soon as that car that was passing me got right up to my uh, driver's side door, they just decided to pretty much slam on the brakes and just really slow down and I luckily there was an exit ramp that I could uh, kind of get it over in that lane to slow my truck down and avoid you know running over that car and kind of avoided the accident but just little stuff like that just really really gets annoying after a while and there's been numerous instances of uh, the AI just pulling out in front of me or they'll just sideswipe me just some just goofy stuff like that so it'd be nice if they could kind of tweak and uh, improve the AI behavior just a little bit. You know, I'm okay with them having just random, you know, events and stuff like that where, you know, they do cause an accident because again, that kind of gives you that realistic kind of feel and everything, but it's kind of tweaked it a little bit so it's not just like all the time 
And uh, one thing that I've really noticed uh, is, you know, when you turn on your turn signals, AI just kind of freaks out a little bit and they'll just come to a dead stop in the road, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I know uh, if you turn your four ways on, they kind of do the same thing. And that's always kind of been, seems like it's been in all the SES games that I've played, you know, going back to the Holland days, you would, you know, turn on your four ways and traffic would just stop. And now it seems like they do it with uh, turn signals as well. So again, just kind of tweak the AI behavior just a little bit. And I think, uh, I think we'd be good there. But guys, that's going to be it for today. Uh, like I said, just kind of a quick news update video with a little bit of the map rescale slash uh, rework discussion. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Love hearing from you guys. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. And if you like today's video, just give a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And be sure to tune in Thursday for another episode of my Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. Guys, I'm going to jump out of here for now. Stay safe out there. Take care. And we'll see you in the next video. And we'll hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.